there is a new whistleblower that turned everything upside down in an Elon Musk Twitter lawsuit. This whistleblower, who has unique knowledge about Twitter, claims that managers of the company didn't even have any knowledge about the exact number of fake accounts. And gradually, it's getting worse. The whistleblower provided hard documents and revealed stunning insights about this situation that was very unexpected. With that, the team of Elon Musk subpoenaed former Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey. And for now, this case is getting more and more interesting every day. So, let's explain everything. Elon Musk may have just gotten some much-needed assistance in his legal battle against Twitter. Last month, Peter Mudge Zadko, Twitter's former security chief, filed a 200-page whistleblower complaint with Congress and several federal agencies, as first reported by CNN and The Washington Post. Zadko's argument focuses on Twitter security vulnerabilities, user data storage, and bot activity levels. The reason why this is important is that if Musk can prove that Twitter was deliberately skewing their numbers in order to make the company look more valuable than it actually was, he might be able to get out of his $44 billion acquisition deal. Zatko said that Twitter executives don't have the resources to fully grasp the real number of bots on the platform and were not driven to do so. This situation is clearly better for Musk than it is for Twitter. The security vulnerability and user data claims might be more important since they could prompt Musk to argue that Twitter isn't upholding a 2011 settlement with the DOJ and FTC. This would go against its public representations. Twitter released the following statement via email. Mr. Zatko was fired from his senior executive role at Twitter in January 2022 for ineffective leadership and poor performance. What we've seen so far is a false narrative about Twitter and our privacy and data security practices that is riddled with inconsistencies and inaccuracies and lacks important context. Zatko, a well-known security figure, also claims that Twitter is not motivated to tally the actual number of bots and spammy accounts on the service, which has more than 238 million monthly users. Another point he makes is that Twitter potentially misled regulators when they stated their platform was safe from hacks which could help Musk's chances in his fight to prove that Twitter broke its contract. More importantly, Zatko offers hard documentary evidence in his lawsuit against spam and bots, which means the seriousness of those claims is tough to assess at first. According to one of the people familiar with the matter, who asked to remain anonymous due to the ongoing legal case, Musk's lawyers scheduled a deposition with Zatko before publication of the whistleblower complaint. Twitter has repeatedly defended its record on combating bots and spam, with CEO Parag Agrawal saying in May that the company removes half a million spam and bot accounts each day. This number was updated in July to 1 million. Twitter fully stands by our statements about the percentage of spam accounts on our platform and the work we do to fight spam on the platform, generally, stated Rebecca Han, Twitter spokeswoman, in response to these allegations of Zadko. According to Axios Codebook author Sam Sabin, Zatko is a seminal figure in the world of cybersecurity. Zatko has built a reputation in the last three decades as not being afraid to publicly disclose security flaws in high-profile companies' technology, is a former Pentagon official and has testified to Congress on cyber issues. Musk hasn't said anything yet, but his lawyers were busy yesterday. The team of Elon Musk has subpoenaed Jack Dorsey, Twitter's former CEO and a close friend, as part of his legal battle. Both parties have filed dozens of subpoena requests asking for information and communications from banks, investment firms, executives, and high-profile figures in Silicon Valley about the deal. On Monday, legal filings revealed that Musk's attorneys are requesting documents and communications from Dorsey on Twitter's process of detecting fake accounts, how it labels them, and how many daily active users there are, information which is significant to financial disclosures. Elon Musk claims that Twitter misled investors by providing false numbers in SEC filings regarding the number of bots and spam on its platform. Musk says the social networking site tried to misrepresent investors by giving incorrect figures in corporate filings with the Securities and Exchange Commission. Twitter has stated that its SEC filings are accurate and that Elon Musk's team has spent months trying to invent a spam disclosure problem, but found nothing. The company also alleges that Musk's efforts to finance the deal ran out of steam, which contradicts the legal arguments coming from the billionaire businessman. Musk has been friends with Dorsey for years. Both men are interested in cryptocurrencies. Dorsey, who stepped down as Twitter CEO in November 2021, supported Musk's buyout of the company and his move to take it private. He tweeted his support for Elon, saying that he is the singular solution I trust for Twitter. 
In order to figure out how Musk's opinion of the arrangement changed, Twitter's legal staff has scoured through his talks with several Silicon Valley heavyweights, looking for signs that he might have been influenced by those conversations. Twitter has requested records and communications from entrepreneurs and venture capitalists Mark Andreessen, Joe Lonsdale, David Sachs, and Steve Jurvetson. They all have been involved in funding Musk's purchase in one way or another. In the meantime, Musk's lawyers have filed several dozen requests for information from Twitter about accounts they believe to be fake. The judge accepted Elon's request and granted subpoena to Kayvon Bikepour, former head of consumer product, and Bruce Falk, former head of revenue product. They were both let go by CEO Parag Agrawal in May. If there are any new allegations that Twitter misled shareholders and regulators, Musk could have a stronger case in the Delaware Chancery Court in October. The severity of the revelations would play a role, as well as whether or not there is data to support any new claims, and if so, how much Musk relied on those claims when going ahead with the deal. We have already issued a subpoena for Mr. Zadko, and we found his exit and that of other key employees curious in the light of what we have been finding, was stated by Alex Spiro, a partner at Quinn Emanuel and Musk's current legal counsel for his ongoing Twitter litigation. And all of this is happening while Elon Musk side stunned everyone when they revealed their giant research and findings about Twitter bots and revealed the exact number of fake accounts that Twitter has. Furthermore, shares of Twitter were down 2.5% at $42.89 in late Monday trade. So for now, Twitter is worse than ever. That's it for today.